are you planning to get your first cloud certificate then this video is for you hi my name is Neha last year I got my first AWS cloud certificate which is the foundational certificate known as cloud practitioner exam in this video I'm gonna show you why I decided to go ahead with this certificate um, what was my preparation plan what resources I used and little bit more about the exam so let's get started so the first thing is why I decided to go ahead with this certificate. I am from front-end domain and I wanted to upskill my technical skills. And at that time, I decided to start learning cloud. Having zero knowledge, I took this decision. And to be honest, uh, after taking this decision two, three times, I tried to learn cloud and I was just end up giving up. And I was at that situation where I almost lost the hope that I will be able to do cloud. The reason was I was not able to find a clear roadmap. There were plenty of resources but not focused for the front-end developers. And at that time, I got to know about the AWS certification. So there is a website by AWS where you can go and read more about that. The beautiful thing about these certificates is that they have different tracks and as per the technology also the cloud practitioner exam which i also say it's the foundation exam is for anyone who is beginner in cloud which it doesn't mean that if today you decided that you don't want to do the pra practitioner exam but you wanted to do a developer uh, related certificate then you can take that track so this is the beauty of AWS certificate that you can pick based on your experience and your interest which particular certificate you want to prepare for and appear for now the reason i decided because get preparing for certification will give me a clear learning path i will be having a road map certain set uh, certain uh, categories or topics i have to learn to appear for the certificate and at the end two things will happen i will be i will be a little bit know more about cloud and also I will be getting the certificate, which is the validation that yes, now at least I know this much cloud. So this was the reason kind of a motivation for me to go ahead and prepare for the certificate. This, this certificate exam is going, uh, I actually appeared during COVID. So I gave an online exam from my home, but you need to check where you are and how the COVID rules and regulation in is in your city and country according to that either you can take it from your home or you can go to a nearby center this is a 19 minute long set of, uh, exam with 65 questions will appear they will have multiple choices and sometimes they will have multiple responses also uh, you are not going to write the long answers it basically multiple choice so you will get four options four option and you need to select out of that which is the answer based on you in this exam what aws wanted to check is they just wanted to check our knowledge around cloud and aws ecosystem and their services they are not expected expecting from you that you should know everything in depth but you should know what are the aws services what are not the what are not aws services which service you are going to use when and more about cloud that why is cloud is important what are the benefits benefits one will get from uh, uh, moving towards cloud and what are their advantages and a lot of things just related to cloud ecosystem and most important aws example there would be the questions where they will be asking you that in this particular situation which particular service you will be using and in the options you will get three non-aws options and one would be AWS service related. In most of the time, you need to pick a AWS service as an answer. So basically, they just wanted to know how well you are aware of AWS ecosystem and their service. So this is about the exam. The cost of this exam is 100 USD based on which country you are. Just check the currency exchange and you can just uh, convert that. And the moment uh, I and once you are appearing for the exam, uh, 24 hours before the exam, you can reschedule also. So it's very flexible in that case. Okay, now let's take a step ahead and let's talk about my preparations. 
Um, I'm a front-end person, so I was having no knowledge of cloud. I was working full-time, so my preparation plan is not very dedicated. But what I decided is because I'm, I was already aware that I will be having problem with uh, sitting dedicately and putting number of hours, lot of hours in preparing for the certificate. So what I decided that my comfortable area, my comfortable time in a day, or I would say I would be more focused to uh, in a day at the morning time before starting my office. So every day in the morning, I used to sit for an hour and prepare for my certificate. And the resources which I used is, uh, uh, I started with a book. So from my company, I got the O'Reilly subscription free. In that, there was a AWA practitioner exam book. I started reading that for the theory part first. And then I also took a Udemy course for the video, uh, for the video references. My plan was that I used to do the theory first and then once I'm done with the theory of the chapter, then I go for the videos and just, you know, quickly go through the videos just to get a confidence how much I know, is there any topic I missed out. So basically I was following two different resources. I also did practice exams, which I would say are very, very essential. Before starting the preparation, I took one practice exam to see what kind of questions um, in the exam comes where I'm standing and all that and obviously I failed in that uh, because I was not having good knowledge of AWS cloud at that time and then I I used to after every few weeks I used to do one practice exam so again on O'Reilly I got two sample papers of Pearson and I also bought five practice exam from Udemy and I used to keep playing with them, keep appearing for the uh, exam and keep checking that where I'm lacking. So these were very, very important. And I would say after preparing theory and video, practice exams are must to do before appearing for final exam. Yeah, so this was my, these were my resources. This was my preparation plan. I will link all these course books and Udemy courses practice exam in the comment section so that you can check. And then finally, I didn't took the exam date when I was planning, uh, I was preparing. So it took me two to three months. And to be honest, cloud is very vast. So you will never feel confident that you are done or you know everything about the cloud. And same was happening with me. Every day I used to find something new to learn. And there was a time when I felt that uh, I don't think so. Next six months also I will be ready. So what I decided is I decided to book the day, uh, my exam date and go ahead and give the exam just to know that after three months where i'm standing and this is exactly what i did and it also gave me a uh, motivation to start wrapping up the things and push myself to take things more seriously and then on the d-day i gave the exam and i got the message from mail from them that i passed it which is a very good thing for me so yeah this is about the aws practitioner exam if you are planning to appear for either the practitioner exam or any other exam, I would also add one more thing, hands-on. Never forget to do hands-on. I got a lot of confidence when I started doing the hands-on. So what I did was I did S3. I created, I hosted my applications there. I used S3 with my front-end project just to get more confidence and idea that how these how to use s3 what are the kind of things i can do with that i also did the im identity management uh, identity access management thing i also did the route 53 i hosted my own website on um, aws i did ec2 i did the certification i do basically i did most of the services hands-on on aws so that i get more confidence and i would be uh, and i get more confidence and i feel that yes uh, i know what what i'm preparing for so never ever forget doing the hands on either it's a cloud practitioner exam or any other certificate hands on is very very important because you need to understand these are the technical skills these are not the theoretical skills so this is i would say for me my hands on actually helped me a lot to get more confidence and clear the exam.
so this was about the whole my strategy around my preparation of the cloud uh, cloud exam i'm preparing for my next next certificate i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any question comment anything let me know in the comment section thank you